In the visible spectrum that we see in, these gases are truly transmissive, right? So light goes right through the molecules and we can't actually visualize or see them. However, since they're considered greenhouse gases, they have uh, little slivers of infrared absorption characteristics. Uh, we tune the camera with spectral filtering to line up or match up with those bands specifically. So we do some cryogenic cooling to the sensor, we cool it down to where the noise platform is very, very low, and then we spectrally filter the camera to where it targets the absorption curve of a specific gas. So when we find a notch or an absorption band of a specific gas and we filter towards that, we also do some optimization with regards to the lenses and some internal digital filtering. It allows us to now see a lack of energy where that plume exists, uh, which effectively looks like a black cloud. It's a completely passive infrared system, so with a passive system, we're seeing the lack of energy that's being blocked by the plume or the cloud of gas, right? That uh, lends itself for us to, to be very sensitive from a leak detection standpoint, but it doesn't necessarily lend itself for us to do true speciation or quantification.